let's just get started into this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using different products and showing you guys how I'm using them. And I'll talk to you guys about other things too, not just makeup. So let's get into the video. So you guys, I have honestly been gone. The first brush I'm going to use is for MAC. It's a 227. And the first color I'm going to use is from this palette. And this palette is called the 15 pound warm neutral palette. And I'm going to use this color right here. I believe it's called Saddle. Okay, so I'm using this color right there and it's called Saddle. So I'm going to start it off in the crease of my eye. So right through here. I'm just gonna work it just like so and so anyway so you guys I've actually been gone for like I want to say almost six months if not longer it might even be like a year so that's so crazy that I haven't posted in so long but I've missed doing videos and all this stuff so that's why I am back on again um Right now I'm actually getting ready. It's my son's homecoming game. So he's a senior this year and yeah, they're playing a homecoming game. So I am getting ready to go to that. So that's what I'm doing my makeup for is to go to this homecoming game. So yeah. So here we go. I'm just putting on that brown eyeshadow. So that right now is my crease color and I want it pretty definitive, pretty dark. My palette here. And it's like this more ruddy brown. I'm going to use this one. So I'm going in with that reddish brown. And again, I'm taking it through the outer crease of the eye. And as you can see, it's really, really dark. So I'm going to take a clean brush to blend that out. And this isn't really clean, but I'm still going to use it because it's clean to me. It's a 221 for MAC and it's a smaller version. But I'm just going to use that to help spread this out so it doesn't look too too crazy so anyways the reason why I feel like I kind of stopped posting videos well first of all I got super duper sick last year like around this time like last October um, I was just really 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 tired and I just felt awful like I just had no energy to do anything I just didn't feel like myself like I stopped going to the gym I stopped running like I just didn't and when I did run I literally had to stop like five times during my run and that's something that I never used to have to do I would always be able just to you know run all the three miles and not stop so I knew something was like really wrong I just didn't know what so I finally went to go get checked and um, sure enough um, my doctor let me know that I have anemia and I'm really not sure if I still have anemia I may I haven't been checked like I haven't gone to get checked again but I've been on iron pills and I've also been taking a birth control to help study you know that time of the month that way I don't continuously um, have blood that leaves so I don't have anemia because that's what anemia is it's a blood disorder so and obviously blood runs through your body it's something super duper important it's it's I don't know it's just it runs every aspect of your body so if that's off it's gonna affect everything Another horrible thing is I was getting these headaches and to be honest with you the headaches really haven't stopped I still get them quite frequently and they're kind of debilitating sometimes but um, basically the headache is called a tension headache which I did not know the name for it my doctor told me that's what it was because I had explained to him that it felt like if I had just been screaming like my head off or if I had been crying all day or it felt like if I had a headband off and on and I took the headband off that's what my headache felt like and my doctor explained to me that that's called a tension headache and that's usually caused because of stress so um, I don't know and I think I was stressed because I was feeling gross and I just didn't know why and all that stuff so anyway that that's that, that's what happened that's another reason why I kind of stopped filming I'm gonna take this color from the Patrick star palette it's this like reddish color if you don't have this you could also use I'm into it by Mac which this might even be I'm into it 
it is you guys this is called I'm into it we still sell this color in store so um, this is beautiful so I am going to use that um, in my outer V of my eye so anywho that that's what's been going on so it just really sucked and I wasn't feeling well and not to mention there's been so many health issues that have been going on like in my family in general um, this is like even hard to say just because like it's my mom but um, a few months ago my mom actually had a heart attack and it was just really a shock for the family like we had no idea that she had issues like with her heart like my mom's diabetic so she's had you know like those type of things that we've dealt with as a family you know but a heart attack that's something just like insane like like I, I can't even believe it to this day I think I'm still in shock um so anyway so yeah so we just kind of had a lot of stuff going on in like my family and it's just been really hard it's hard to like do anything and then here I am I like want to get back on YouTube and I want to start doing makeup looks and posting videos and I do I want to do all that stuff because like I enjoy it like doing makeup like that's my passion I really enjoy like editing videos and posting them and you know things like that but it's just kind of like when something bad happens like your life like literally your little bubble your little world it just like stops it literally just like stops even though the world goes on and and everything goes on and on your little world just kind of comes to a halt and you know that's hard but I have lots of other blessings to be grateful for I feel like I'm just going on a rant on complaining about all the terrible things there's lots of good things that are happening me and Nate are doing great um, our boys are doing great uh, our, our eldest son is going to be graduating high school this year so we are incredibly proud of him and I just yeah it's nuts to think that my son's gonna be graduating my other boys are doing really well I have a, um, a seventh grader who gets amazing grades and he's just a super duper hard worker and then I have my little guy who again his personality he's just insanely smart like he's just real like witty you know he has like the personality of like a 40 year old dude when he's like nine years old so it's quite he's he's a lot of fun to be around so anyway everyone's just doing really well like my family is doing good my sister my brother uh, you know my nieces my nephews uh, everyone's doing well I appreciate those of you that have uh, messaged me and asked me like hey what's what's good like why aren't you doing videos anymore I wish you would post more um, you know things like that I'm just getting a clean brush this is a uh, wet and wild and I'm just helping along this this uh, blend it's kind of pretty right it looks like good like with the blue eye anyway I might move you guys closer to this eye so you can see better that any better let me see if I get you in a little bit more excuse this I don't know what this is you guys if anybody knows what it is let me know it's not a pimple I've had it for years already and um, it doesn't go away so I'm not sure what it is anyway so I'm gonna go back in with that color I'm into it it's that red color right there and I am going to take a big fluffy brush this is actually an old Elizabeth Arden brush it's just super big and fluffy and I'm just gonna pat down this color right here on top of my eye and this just makes it really easy to do a smoky eye with this because it's basically it does all the work for me so I'm just patting it on like this and then what I'm gonna do is get that 221 and just blend it out a little bit. Now I could have put the dark color all the way to the edge of the eye here, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna use another color. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna use glitter or what, but I'm gonna use something else to brighten the eye up so it's not a full on smoky, it'd be kind of like a partial smoky. And yeah. So again, you guys, I'm just patting on that I'm into it, that reddish color. 
I think it's more maroon than anything. I don't know. What does it look like to you guys? Red, maroon, what's the deal? I'm going to take that big fluffy uh, 217 and just blend this out. I don't know. Another reason I think I stopped like really doing videos too was because it's like you put in so much work like this is time and energy you guys seriously it's, it, it's a lot of work if you've ever done videos like you know it's not easy and the idea of me posting a video and like 40 people watch it really sucks like it's like duh I want a lot of views and I know you have to work at your channel and stay consistent so that's why I'm really not complaining that bad um, because I'm going to continue to do that. I'm going to work on my channel, right? Like you have to work at it hard in order for it to be successful. And I know that. I'm not a, I'm not an idiot. Like, duh. So, but it just kind of sucks. So then I get like really discouraged and then I just want to quit. I just want to quit. So I end up quitting. I mean, other stuff happened too, obviously. It wasn't just like I quit. But, um... Yeah, so I think that kind of really, like, like sucked, you know? That I was just, like, doing all this work and stuff, and I wasn't getting a ton of views on YouTube. I was actually getting more views on, on, um, Facebook, like, watching the videos than I was on YouTube, which is fine. I mean, any way that people watch it is good, so I'm not complaining about that. But if you are a friend or family member or somebody that I know personally, I do wanna um, thank you for watching this and for giving me that support. It, please know it doesn't go unnoticed. I'm gonna use this little brush here, and I got the color that I want, and I'm just gonna use this right here on the lid of my eye. like this and kind of cut out a cut crease which looks like that that is really really pretty I'm really digging that I think it's really cute right I am also going to get back into that other color and just dig it in here it's called I'm into it I'm just gonna put it right through here does that look okay, you guys? I don't know. I can't really tell. I'm getting a weird glare on my on my lighting in here, so it's hard to see. Cute. Mix up this ugly line right here. That's not very cute. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so anyway, then what I'm going to do is get a MAC glitter, one that has the MAC glitter with it. So without the MAC glitter, with the MAC glitter. So difference in price was pretty considerable, but there's certainly a difference in the product. I mean, this is well worth $21. It's beautiful and it's just worth it. It's so gorgeous. The other one I believe was $4 and I was kind of like, is this worth $4? Just because there wasn't a lot of glitter in it. And what sucks about it is I had to add to it, like add more glitter. I mean, I didn't have to, but it just looked better added. So. It's that whole saying, you get what you pay for. But anywho, this is the look. It's really pretty, you guys. I'm digging it. I think it came out really cute, right? Not bad, not bad. Um, I'm going to go back in with that small brush I was showing you guys, that 221. I'm going back in with that one color we've been using that I'm into it. And I'm just going to take it a little bit going this way. Okay, you guys. So I am back with my lashes. This one's still kind of wonky. It feels a little heavy, but um, yeah, anyway, these are just number threes from MAC. I just added some mascara to them. So that's done there. So now it's time to do my face makeup, which usually is easy. It doesn't take me long or anything. So we'll go ahead and get started. This one is in gold. Um, the cool thing about these strobe creams is they come in a bunch of different shades. They have gold, they have peach, uh, pink, which is the original. They also have, um, what else, what else? Red, believe it or not, and silver. But, um, yeah, so I love this stuff a lot. I use it all the time. And I should probably put some 
under my bangs. Okay, so after I do that, I'm also going to use a primer. This particular primer is called Natural Radiance. It is the pink one. Um, I used to use the yellow one, but I ran out, so now I use the pink one. The pink one is nice if you're more fair skinned. It just helps um, brighten your face and it also helps with pores because that's usually my issue is I have really ugly pores on my skin. So that's why I kind of like to do all this jazz is because of my ugly pores. Um, and it'll help your makeup stay on longer, you know, all that stuff show you it's this palette and this palette is called the Pro Conceal and Correct in Medium. Now the reason why I love this palette so is because it makes me look like a brand new woman. I'm going to take the two pink tones, so one and then another pink tone here and I'm going to use that first under my eye. I'm going to do one side and not the other because I want you all to be able to see if there's a difference. So that's the pink side. I'm going to take the yellow and the skin tone color, so one and two, and I'm going to do that on this side under my eye. I wonder if I should put this on now so you guys can see. Look at the difference, you guys, between this side to this side. Anyway, let's do it again. So I'm gonna take the pink side. I'm taking a damp beauty blender, mind you, and I'm going under my eye. Now this is so easy. I see like other people put on their concealer and I'm like, oh my God, why is it taking you so long to apply a concealer? Like I do mine so quickly. There is no need for it to take a long time. Like it's just like done and done, okay? looks like this it is studio fix fluid my sponge and just dab it in just like that you really put so much foundation and you're like what the oh well just blend it it's fine <laughs> what's your guys favorite foundation you guys like to use on your faces or what you guys use daily I'm just curious and if you tell me what you like, tell me why. Ooh! Tell me why you love it so. Because maybe I will check it out. This color in my palette, as you can see, it's like totally run through. I use it daily. And I just want like a small, a small slanted brush. Okay, now I can't find one. What the? Here's one. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this. It's just a small slanted brush, and I'm gonna dig into that darker color of my um, in my concealer palette. And what I do with that brush is I use it right here. Okay, so now I know it looks crazy, but this, my friends, is why we use our beauty blender because it's like an eraser. So I do it kind of crazy on purpose. That way when I go over with the beauty blender, I don't take most of it off. I just kind of take some of it off and then it looks more skin-like. I know I was scaring you all for a second, wasn't I? Were you like, what in the holy heck is that girl doing? But I'm just continually blending it together wet and wild and it just looks like this and I'm going to use both shades this is the more uh, warm toned then I get the darker toned one and just finish it off like that pretty use this type of brush should I turn this off? Can you guys see better? Put it off there. It's really cute. 
So now I'm gonna put some blush on. The blush I'm gonna use is called like this. It's very, 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 very orange, yeah. So I'm just going to get a fluffy brush. And I always make that ugly face when I put blush on. Always, don't judge me. I go back in with my damp beauty blender and press in my blush so it doesn't look crazy. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is I want some highlight. So I am going to take my Hyper Real Palette for MAC. This just looks like this, which is gorgeous. This is also for MAC. This is beautiful for highlight. This one is called a 240. And I'm gonna take the dark, no, the middle color and put it right here on top of my cheekbone, right? myself up okay so I think I'm gonna add a lipstick I'm not sure which one but I will add one and then I will come back I am also gonna come back um, with an outfit on so I can show you what I end up wearing but I will be back oh here's the look hey you guys so this is what I ended up wearing so it's very very simple I am just wearing a pair of jeans they are pretty light washed I would probably say these are considered a medium wash um, they have a lot of distressing on them on both legs they do not have the distressing in the back it's just towards the front now these jeans I got from rainbow and it was earlier in the year actually when it was more winter time last year and the strange things about these jeans is they actually came broken so as you all can see I had to MacGyver the things and what I used is a key ring to hold up the zipper into the button so they came broken you guys I could have very well returned them but I didn't so I just fixed them the way I knew how and yeah so anyway, so I'm wearing that, and then this top is completely oversized, but what I did to it is I wear it off the shoulder for one, and two, I just tie it in a knot towards the front. I, maybe it would have looked cuter if the knot was in the back. I don't know, I, I haven't tried it. Maybe I'll try that later. And then I wear it a little bit down, kind of like this, and I just position it in a way like that. So um, I got this shirt from, um, Target like many years ago and I didn't wear it very often so I thought why not wear it today right because it's not I don't know if it's gonna get cold later on tonight or what so anywho for the shoes they're really adorable I am going to a football game believe it or not and you know my ass is wearing wedges duh they just look like this um they're really really sweet they have like the heel is actually rounded I don't know if you all can tell but they're just really cute kind of like booties like with the back out um yeah, they're comfortable. I dig them. I got them from a store called Melrose. They were like $15.99. And then with my hair, I don't have extensions to lengthen it, but I did put a couple pieces up here on top to give it some more volume. So yeah, this is my eye makeup. And that is the finished product, you guys. So anyway, I will be back soon. And thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys. Alright you guys, so this is the very end of this video. It was kind of like a vlog stuff. No, it wasn't a vlog. It was a normal video. But anyway, this is the end of it and we just got back from the game and they won their homecoming game. Woot woot, go nights. But yeah, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. But this is how the look turned out. Obviously, all my lips are like long gone, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, feel free to follow me on my social media. Instagram is Makeup by Dizzle, and yeah, and my uh, Facebook is Veronica Dizzle. So hopefully, I will see you guys there too. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.